Yo guys, it's Chris here, back in another video, and I saw Sonic saw my video from yesterday, and it was kind of interesting, uh, but I'm not so sure this guy's actually going to respond back. I mean, he could make a diss track, because that's trending nowadays, but I mean, he probably wouldn't be able to handle the heat, so uh, yeah, I doubt that. But on to today's video, uh, the Crew 2 Demolition Derby is now coming out December 5th. If you saw a couple of videos back, I made the uh, uh, video about the Demolition Derby from the teaser, and now we actually have some details on it. Yeah, so December 5th. From what we know, it is going to be a free part of the game because a lot of things are coming with it, uh, like PvP. Uh, so that's going to be cool. Uh, but I have a lot of stuff here uh, below like I said we already had the teaser But we're gonna be introduced at the new discipline uh, Demolition Derby and the way that they explain this is such in a cloud of smoke with grinding gears Demolition Derby is crashing into the freestyle family to bring a brand new unique gameplay to the motor nation Get behind the wheel and roll bars of 100% destructible vehicles in two exclusive spots that are home to the discipline's eight wacky events so from what we saw there, it's going to be a part of the freestyle discipline, uh, obviously from what we heard, and it says 100% uh, destructible vehicles, which is nice, which basically means that it's the damage model is only going to be on these vehicles, uh, and they're going to be built to be destroyed, obviously. Uh, and it says eight wacky events. We usually see this. Uh, usually you have to get a certain amount of icon points uh, to unlock the next event. And so we have eight events. I feel like for a DLC like this, it should probably be more than eight events. But I also think for this DLC, it's going to be more of a free roam type thing that people are just going to do. Uh, which is why I'm glad that we're going to have two new uh, stadiums that we can actually be in here. As we saw from the preview trailer and everything. So two new stadiums as well as uh, new cars, which I'll get into later. Uh, and yeah, eight wacky events as they say. So your first arena according to the website is going to be the Bonneville Salt Flats, uh, which is nice because uh, it's an obstacle lace circus. Players have one goal, destroying their opponents and keeping their uh, own in one piece. No holds are barred and despite the challenge up even further, bonuses will occasionally appear across the arena, rewarding the fastest to reach them. So what I see out of that is basically I can't really think, the only game I can kind of think of is Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. How they would have the bonuses on the track, you know, like you can go tank, cruise control, stuff like that. Uh, so I think that's going to kind of be like that, except it won't be that, obviously. Uh, but it could be uh, maybe you get a 10% increase in power or 10% armor. I think those are going to be the type of bonuses that we're going to see. Here we have the new vehicles. It says there's going to be 14 new vehicles. Uh, they're gonna unveil the first six is what we'll see today starting with four fender demolition cars and which will be available to purchase with the in-game credits on December 5th so the first one we have the fender Firenze if that's how you pronounce these cars it looks like some Monte Carlo with NASCAR tires on them the next one is gonna be the fender Vero don't exactly know what this looks like the only thing I can kind of think of is a Jeep with that uh first or the, the bumper and the grill on it otherwise this car looks pretty cool though it kind of looks like some hatchback in the back the next is going to be the fender bulk uh i see there's an old car i can't think of it it looks kind of like the one from the cars movie uh but I, like I said i can't really think a whole lot of that right now oh no sorry that was the fender frontaria the fender bulk is the next one and this is a cool truck I actually like this one, this is my favorite so far. Uh, the other two vehicles will be added to the season pass uh, on December 5th and for the other players on December 12th. The Fender Rattlesnake, which looks like a muscle car, and the uh, Extra Aerobatics 330SC. Nice little paint, uh, plane on there. The eight remaining vehicles will be revealed closer to the launch, and since the launch is literally next next week, it's probably gonna come out next week that we'll see those other vehicles. Uh, so, as well as the update, that's pretty much all in the Demolition Derby, but for the rest of the update, we're gonna be getting some new, uh, it says like our first update in September, the Crew 2 Demolition Derby will also be adding brand new events to existing disciplines namely Drift, Alpha Grand Prix, and Rallycross. You can also get ready to experience the latest episode in the Live Extreme series, Holiday Special, as well as 10 new skills and Free Drive. We also now have live contracts. The live bus is up and running in every HQ, offering players daily contracts with crew credit rewards. These contracts are random and different for each player, and can be based on any in-game activity, events, skills, photo ops, treasure hunts, freestyle, roaming. This is going to be fun. 
I, I like that idea. Players receive one contract per day as well as one reroll. There is no time limit and uncompleted contracts will appear in the following day along with a new daily contract up to a maximum of three stack contracts. This is going to be, uh, I said it's going to be cool because we're going to have another reason to go out and do something in the, for uh, in the crew too. Photo said eight new demolition themed photo quests will also be available. Uh, who knows? And PvP, the next biggest thing. Last certainly but not least, the Crew 2 Demolition Derby is bringing PvP to the Motor Nation. And, uh, yeah. I'm ready for that. Uh, so, yeah, December 5th. Uh, it'll be on the live stream on December 4th. I'll make sure I bring you something on December 4th that day, hopefully. Uh, I shouldn't forget. Otherwise, that's the end of this video. And, uh, I said we'll see what Stonix does. Uh, with that whole exposed thing. It'll definitely be interesting. See you guys next time. Peace.